if not the screen. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so here I'll just show you. Yeah, this is the main. This is the tab you'll see on the top, and you can you can stop your video or you can play your video from here. There's an option here, but here you can see the participants who have actually joined the session. And initially, whenever the participant joins, you will get a uh, message like, let's say, if I just uh, let's remove. Basically, you can join once once the participant join, you'll get an option of admit. So you have to admit the participant uh, because because in the options is an option. What I uh, what I have given is the participants uh, should be given. You know, they, they will be in the waiting room before they join. So let's say if they are joined, trying to join now. Let's say I, I said trying to join now. So basically, once he joins, I'll get a message here, which is going to show you that this is the waiting room. So basically, you have to admit, admit this participant. So it depends upon the setting options as I said. So basically, we recommend this uh, admit option, and then there is a video recommended to disable it, and you can mute unmute yourself from here. There's a mute option, unmute the option. Uh, make sure that you are selecting the right audio device. Because here I'm using the headset, so you can also test this just to confirm, you know, your audio and video is working fine. Uh, here is a share, so you can share the portion of the screen. So basically, you have to uh, share the screen here because this is something you have to do uh, to share your screen, not all the things. But here I just selected this option so that I can show you the complete portion of the screen. With the zoom options, because if I select this screen, whatever the zoom options here, you don't see them actually, because the clients or the participants who are actually joining, they cannot, uh, they cannot see the zoom options, whatever you see over here. But currently, you can see because of the, because of the uh, advanced option I've used here. Okay, so, so basically, these are the options, and. And we have shared this so you can pause the sharing from here or probably not hit one and most of the chat options you'll see here so if you're using chat options so basically you can chat with anyone here from these options even finally you can also log in from your uh, mobile phone if it's somewhere so basically just check it out that option as well because during some kind of emergencies let's say if there is some kind of internet issues you can still use your mobile phone to connect from your phone key and you can Still get in touch with the participants to update the reason why the class not has been started. So you need, uh, I'll be sharing your WhatsApp numbers as well, so that if there is any kind of communication, you can uh, okay, that they will do it from there. So chat box, you can you can type in here the messages from here. And additionally, um, Additionally, there are some options. There's nothing like that. Apart from that, the restock options are still the same as what you do in the what you do in the in the WebEx, like you read. So you can uh, and one more thing is basically select this option, mute everyone, and make sure that you know you don't uh, make them to unmute. If there's a small class, you can give the permission. But basically, if it is a big class, like 10 to 15 participants, so you don't want them to be unmute. So you just mute them. And this option depends because if I pick this option, they can the participants can unmute themselves whenever they want. So if you just want to disable that, you can do this. But I recommend you to have a 10 15 minute session and then beg for the question answers like that. Uh, there are some other options. So basically, you can log the meeting if you don't want any other persons to join once it is done. So basically, you can also do that. Option. So, rest of the things remain the same. There's nothing much. So, I recommend you to just have an idea. If you are taking a break during that, you can mute yourself from here and mute options. That's it. So, it, it's a kind of kind of simplified tool, and you can use your 
uh, mobile devices as well to log in. Basically, the participants will be using that. So, did I, did I left anything? So, that's it. These are the options we need to be aware of while doing the session. Okay. So, these screens, whatever you see, these participants, they don't see them. So, they will just see the text screen. These options will not be seen there.